Hi, I'm Kurt Schultz. And I'm Amy Seed. And we'd like to welcome you to this week's broadcast of In the News! If you are interested in a career in the field of education, whether it be coaching or teaching, then you might have taken notice of the many flyers hanging around the school, which advertise the Teachers of Tomorrow Club. This club is headed by Mrs. Lucero and is said to be a great opportunity for all students interested in the teaching profession. Students who signed up for this club will go on exciting field trips, learn how to make and teach lesson plans, prepare for and take the C-Best, visit college campuses, and much more throughout this, the year. Field reporter Lara Solis was able to speak with Mrs. Lucero to get additional information and her feelings about starting this new club. Hi, I'm Lara Solis with In the News at CHS and I'm here talking to Mrs. Lucero about the Teachers of Tomorrow Club. So Mrs. Lucero, why did you start this program? We were able to start this program due to a very large grant from West Hills College and we wanted to be able to do something for students that wanted to go into the field of education of any sort, whether it's to be a teacher or a nurse or a coach or a counselor. And we wanted to be able to give students the opportunities to explore these areas. How does this benefit students? They will get hands-on experiences that they will never get anywhere else in any other program. They'll be able to do, go into classrooms and teach and do lesson plans. They'll be able to job shadow counselors and nurses and coaches if they want to. And they'll be able to go on a lot of field trips and do a lot of activities. Um, where are you guys going to be traveling to? Coming up, we have a field trip scheduled to go to Stanislaus State, where they can. Do, there's a lot of different educational workshops they can take place in. They can take part in there. We're also going to be traveling to the Exploratorium, learning about teaching science and math in a hands-on manner. We'll also be touring the San Francisco University campus and learning about the different programs that are offered there. Well, thank you for your time, Ms. Lucero. Okay, thank you. Back to you guys in the studio. On February 14th, Humberto Garza, an expert on wonky Marietta we will visit Kalinga High School to share his segment from the History Channel and reveal the facts about Joaquin Marietta. He is also the author of Joaquin Marietta, A Quest for Justice and Demystifying the Marietta Legend. Refreshments and book sales are available in the lobby. The annual blood drive was held today in the small gym. Students ages 17 and up got the opportunity to donate a pint of blood. The blood drive helps the Central California Blood Center meet their quota of 250 to 300 pints to keep up the blood supply in the valley. The blood drive gives students the chance to help save lives by simply donating a pint of blood. Further reporter Hugo Valencia spoke to a few people who donated blood. Hi, I'm Hugo Valencia with In the News at CHS. I'm here at the small gym where the blood drive is taking place. We're going to go over and interview Alex Ainsworth, who is a first time donor, right? So, Alex, how do you feel? Uh, well, I'm a little nervous, but other than that, I feel pretty good. Do you think it'll hurt at all? Uh, maybe a little when they're sticking me, but other than that, no. Now I'm here with Dustin Lord, who is a first-time donor. So, Dustin, how does it feel to be a first-time donor? Uh, it feels pretty good. Um, there's really nothing, actually. Were you scared at all? Uh, I'm not going to lie. I was pretty nervous, but once it started, it was pretty simple. Well, kudos. <laughs> Back to you guys. Now let's head on over to Sandra Azurdia. For this week's Horn Toad Highlight. Hi, I'm Sandra Zerdia with this week's Horn Toad Highlights. Last Friday, the boys soccer team suffered a 0-3 loss against the Exeter Monarchs to end their season. The boys also suffered three red cards by Anthony Solaria, Jesus Mendes, and Eric Curado. So the boys finished the game with eight players. Although the boys ended their season with a league record of 4-5-1, they fought every step of the way to reach playoffs but fell just a bit short. The wrestling season has come to a close. However, they held their league meet last Saturday to decide who goes on to Valley Meet. Francisco Acosta, Josh Boger, Sergio Silva, Cameron Derrick, Mauricio Guandale all placed first, while Joseph Felipe placed second. 
This means these wrestlers will go on to compete in the Valley Meet Saturday, February 16th. Kyle Jones, Ernie Villa, and Cody Wells will be used as alternates, and they will fill in if there is any empty spots. We wish all these boys good luck. Last Friday, the boys' basketball team took a hard defeat against Kingsburg. It was a 10-point loss with the final score of 69-59. At home, tonight the boys will be taking on Danuba. Tonight is the 2008 boys' senior night. Those seniors being honored will be Brett Warren, Kellen Earls, Roberto Cobian, Juan Pacheco, Anthony Esparza, Guillermo Pizarro, and Luis Dominguez. Tonight, the girls' basketball team is away at Dinuba. Although they lost last Friday with a score of 74-5 to the Kingsburg Vikings, they're keeping their hopes up for this Friday's game, which is their senior night against the Exeter Monarchs. The seniors this year are Elizabeth Ayala and Brandy Salazar, who are trying to lead the Lady Toads to their first victory this year. Good luck to both teams at their games. The Lady Toad soccer team participated in the last games of the season last week. On Wednesday, they traveled to Danuba where they battled it out against the Emperors on the field of the Jefferson Elementary School since the high school stadium is being renovated. Though they remain strong through the absence of three key players in sickness throughout the entire team, the Toads ended up losing a tough game with a score of 4-0. to on Friday, they had their senior night, complete with Mr. Delano reading off the ladies' speeches, roses that the athletes gave to their parents, and the stadium lights going off for at least 15 minutes during the first half of the game. The Exeter Monarchs scored twice against the Toads in the first half, while in the second half, our ladies scored one off a corner kick and another goal by the Monarchs. Thus, the ending game with the loss for the Lady Toads of 3-1. to one. Seniors included Innocencia Magdaleno, Gabby Brixey, Ashley Jennings, Merlin Sunsa, and myself. And this was this week's Horn Toad Highlights. Back to you, Kurt and Rhea. Thanks, Sandra. And thank you for watching. And remember, if it's important, it's, it's in, in the, the news, news at CHS. CHS. So, Hugo, how you doing? Pretty good, you? I'm okay. Hey, have you asked anyone to prom yet? No, I was going to do it maybe next month. Yeah, I've heard that one before. Well, um, you know, you better start asking girls soon if you want to go because all the girls are being taken. Whoa, no. I'm going to the ends of the earth to get my girl because nobody is taking her. <laughs> Whoa, I'm here, ends of the earth. Sandra, will you be my prom date? <laughs>